Thank you, Facebook, for getting my audience ready. I appreciate you. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Eve, your health and human service educator and activator of cultures of well-being, where I help individuals to use their strength strategies and their talent, strength strategies and their stories to transform their lives into innovative approaches of manifesting wealth and excellence. I am feeling so empowered right now. And let me tell you why. Earlier today, I got a visit from a family member who I hadn't seen in a very, very, very long time. And I was, it was, I was delighted to see them and was updating them on, you know, where we are, because they're always in amazement that how in the world did you not, they quit the job, you quit the job to come home. I talk about you all the time and thank you so much, cousin. Uh, no, thank you so much, nephew, for your kind words, because it really um, helped me to understand what's possible. It helped me to understand my strength. It helped me to find out, uh, to, to uh, make the connection between what I had to go through to get to this place. And I push the button right now because <laughs> it's always number one, a good time to go live. But I was online just a few minutes ago and, you know, preparing for uh, the redefining well-being for the um, redefining well-being as the highest form of equity for uh, NCBWR, where I am president and executive director for the National Coalition of Black Women Rising. And we travel all around the country to share how to build these cultures of well-being, meaning uh, when well-being doesn't align with the, the definition of happy, com comfortable, and healthy does not align with your life. That doesn't align with what's going on in your life right now. We help you to redefine that and to create a culture of well-being. Why is that so important in this time? Because we are more than advocates. We have, we're coming off the, we're coming and pushed. We're powered by the greats. We're powered by the, 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 the Fannie Lou Hamers. We're powered by Martin Luther King. We're powered by all the greats who came before us. But guess what? We drink from the same fountain. We go to the same bathrooms and we leverage the same materials and the, and the, and the, the playing field right here in this internet to be able to grow, to prosper, to have, to reduce the cap, to remove the barriers, all the things. Now, why did I come in this moment? Let me tell you something. There is always going to be those feelings, right? There were times when I felt rejected. I had fear. I uh, didn't know how. Um, I didn't think I was good enough. I didn't qualify. I didn't do all the thoughts that I could have in my mind were drumming up. They would drum up every time I tried to do something. These things, these thoughts, emotions, feelings, psychological, mental, psychological, spiritual, mental health, uh, financial reasons why I couldn't do it. But let me share with you something. I have been rejected. I have had the fear. I have went without. I have come through too much for a feeling of rejection to continue to, ri to rise in my life. I was just recently rejected or my post was recently rejected from a group. But let me tell you something. I spent my hard earned money to get an education there at that school that just rejected my post. At that point, I was like, oh, this what we doing? Okay, so I could easily let that affect me or I could use that no to say, oh, no, nah, we ain't doing this. Boom. And I could either change the game. I could let the no ruin my life. I could let rejection rise up in my spirit again and think that I'm not good enough and that 
uh, just because they, you know, rejected me that somehow I'm not good enough. Well, guess what you have to do? You have to show people better than you can tell them. And that means you got to take off to the races. You got to know who you are. You have to remember what you came through. I didn't came through too much. I didn't came from the street, from the, from, 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 uh, uh, from the, from the Metro, uh, in Philadelphia, where there was a uh, gang war, where there were large families, where I was hungry without water, without hot water, without gas, without heat, uh, assault, uh, 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 do I need to, t do I need to keep going? I didn't came from too much. I didn't triumphed over evil. I didn't triumphed over educational learning barriers. I didn't triumphed over system after system after system. I dare not. I dare not continue to feel rejected if somebody says no. So here's what I want you to do. You out there. You who, who are having these feelings that keep erupting in your life, telling you that you can't, that you're not good enough. Oh, there's a ceiling. You can't remove the barriers to the glass ceilings. I'm more than your glass ceiling. Do you know who you are? Are you motivated by the things that you've had? To go I'm an Olympic swimmer. I was either going to sink, swim. I was either going to sink or swim. Which one? I'm doing the Olympic swim or the Olympic run. Why? Because I remember what it was like to pole vault. I remember what it was like to run that 100. I remember what it was like to leap over those hurdles. I remember what it was like. And I've been doing that all my life. So if this is you, I encourage you on June 4th to lock that day in for yourself. Bring your team so they can be motivated. Bring your group so they can be motivated. Come and learn how, when, what, where, when, and how to get started. Whether you want to be a consultant, whether you want to increase your capacity, whether you want to grow your, your profession, whether you want to transition out of your career, whether you want to grow your career, whatever that is that you want to do, Whatever that is that you want to do, it's going to be present on June 4th. We are bringing the tour here, redefining well-being as the highest form of equity. June 4th, New Look Center. Look it up. Lock the date in. We 6 a.m. to 12, uh, 12.59 a.m. on June 5th. We're going to have a good time. And it's for the purposes of for the people. For the people in the back room. Under the back row. For the people on the back row who thought that your rejection, your thoughts, and all those things matter to how I power through these things? Not so. Not so. It will never, ever happen again. Your treatment, your mistreatment, your inhumane treatment, especially within culture. Wow, that's what I was blown away by. It was by the culture. It was by the culture. Sometimes the biggest abuse that you experience is within the culture. Isn't that something? Let me tell you something. Look me in my eyes. I'm fueled by your no. I am fueled by your no. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Eve. I'm a health and human service educator and I activate community. I activate and, and cultivate cultures of well-being, whether that's in work, play, personal, family, community, global, wherever that is. I activate those things because we are living in, in communities, even in groups, where well-being ain't a thing. Your own will reject you. And so I stand empowered today. I stand empowered to tell you that you can move past every single no that anyone has ever told you. Why? Our leaders did it. I stand on the backs. I got people back here that's pushing me. The people back in the back row that's pushing me to the front, pushing me to the front. Those who came before me, those who rejected, those who sat on the bus that were told to go sit in the back, those who who was in slavery, those who said, I'm going back and get the rest. I got to go back and get the rest of the people. If only they knew they were enslaved. I could have saved more people. So to God be the glory today. I bless you. I bless you and pray for you. I bless you and pray for you for every time you ever rejected the woman of God.
Come on out, y'all. June 4th. If you want to be inspired, you want to learn how, you want to get beyond, you want to learn how to reduce your fears, you want to learn how to, to, to identify what your desires in in life, there is indeed a framework. There is indeed some internal work that you have to do. I had to do that work, y'all. I had to do that work to survive the struggle of leaving a job. Yeah, I left the job. My nephew reminded me of that, of that today. You left that job. How in the world people do that? I always talk about you, Dr. Eve, how you left the job. And I left the job and did better. Why? Because I am more. I am more than the glass ceiling. Any glass ceiling that tries to come my way, I am more than that glass ceiling. Peace and blessings to you all. I hope this message motivates you to take action today. If you are in need of support, if you want to know more about what's going to be happening on June 4th in Greenville, click the link in this bio. Click the link and check us out. Drop me a line. Drop me a, a, a email. Join the group for support because we are on fire to change. We are on fire for change and we're going to make it happen by whatever means necessary. Peace and blessings.